In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Zapier in order to automatically post and also automatically write a blog post by simply doing something as simple as sending an email to an email address. So let's watch this in action first of all. So this is my WordPress. This is a WordPress experiment. Well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to write an email to IncomeStreamSurf at Outlook.com. I'm going to say cocktail attire for men and I'm just going to press send and then I'm going to pause the video and in about two minutes, three minutes, there will be a post here, hopefully. Okay, so around about two minutes later, you can see right here, there is a master men's cocktail attire, exude elegance and confidence at your next event. So let's open this up. We'll have a little look. It's a draft, which I do want intentionally, obviously, because you don't want to just immediately post an article without checking it. There are still some problems using this method, but I really thought that people would want to know about it. I would say the main problem with this is that if you're doing bulk content, you're probably going to need to spend $49 a month if you want to make like a lot, and I mean a lot of articles. You could probably do it for 20 you could even do it for 100 tasks a month, honestly. And I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to set this up. Let's have a little look at the content, though. This is using GPT-4. Okay, so this still isn't quite perfect yet, but I do find this incredibly interesting. You can see, basically, that it hasn't converted it to HTML. So it's got a little... It's got weird formatting, etc., etc. However... If you do this on Shopify, it works a little bit better. You can do it on Shopify, you can do it on WordPress. It actually doesn't matter. So Zapier or Zapier is super, super interesting to me. I've been playing around with it. I absolutely love it. I think it's really, really good. So let's talk about how to create a Zap in order to do this. So you want to just create a Zapier account, get the free trial, and then you want to add a trigger. I recommend that you use Outlook because Gmail currently, or probably never, doesn't allow you to use chat GPT. So what we're going to do for the trigger is we're going to type Outlook, or you can just click on Outlook here, and we're going to choose an event, and we're going to say new email. You want to be careful with this, obviously, because if you're using an email, so I would, I would personally make a new email specifically for this. Once you've done that, just connect your email. You can see my email there is already connected. You don't have to put a shared inbox. Um, and then you just want to press test trigger. What doing, press, pressing test trigger, test trigger will bring up something like this. You can see that these are some previous emails. And the way that we're going to be doing this is the subject is going to be the focus keyword. So let's just have a look at that process. So I'm going to press continue here, and then we're going to go on to action and the first thing that we want to do is we want to bring in ChatGPT and we're going to rewrite the um, the focus keyword into a title. So let's press continue here. Just keep pressing continue. Obviously, you'll have to connect your OpenAI or ChatGPT. The user message. Now, I'm going to just do what I always do and I'm just going to get the one that I made earlier because I think it's really, really good. So I'm going to click inside my... Um, the zap that is currently working, and we're going to grab the conversation with ChatGPT. Although in this case, it's not that complicated. So we want to rewrite the focus keyword into a clickable meta title. So what we're going to do is rewrite this focus keyword, and the focus keyword is going to be the subject, which is, in this case, how to fold a pocket square into a clickable meta title. You can probably just leave it on 3.5, although I mean, you may as well put it on four, I guess, just because it does give slightly better content. If you have it, you may as well use it. Temperature, I'm going to put quite low because I just really don't like having high temperature. Assistant instructions, in this case, doesn't really matter. Memory key, I'm going to put one, 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 one. And then we're going to press continue and we're going to press test action. This will give us a title, um, hopefully. So it says rewrite this focus keyword into a uh, clickable meta title. Content, master the art of folding a pocket square step-by-step -step guide so you can see already this is like already pretty interesting and pretty powerful but we're going to add another zap action and it's going to be chat gpt and what we're going to do here is we're going to take the keyword not the keyword the rewritten meta title from the keyword and we're going to use that 
to create a whole new prompt. So again, I'm gonna to go to the conversation that I have here already. Here's one I did earlier. And we're gonna get the user message here. And we're gonna copy and paste this. So one thing that does not work right now is the HTML and markdown formatting. I am experimenting. I think I'm almost there, but it doesn't quite work. I am gonna show you how I'm almost doing it in this video. So in the user message, you wanna click conversation in chat GPT, show all options. And then you want to find the assistant response message here, which is master the art of folding a pocket square, a step-by-step -step guide. And then that is the first bit of the prompt. And then the second bit of the prompt is, this is the topic I want you to write about. You are a digital marketing assistant, blah, 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 blah. Write in markdown formatting, although this doesn't actually work. When you write, you will correctly format the blog post, et cetera, et cetera. So that's actually pretty much all we need to do. Um, I'm going to put this on ChatGPT4. If you do not have ChatGPT4, then feel free to just do this with 3.5 instead. It's really not a big issue. And then again, in the assistant instructions, I'm gonna tell it to use markdown formatting, but it doesn't really work, and I'll, I'll show you why right now. In the memory key, I'm just gonna put the same number because I think that you have to have the same number in both the memory keys, but I don't actually know that for sure. There we go. So now everything's on chat GPT-4. We're going to press continue and we're going to press test action. This will write a an article for me, basically, in the test. It will only be 400 tokens or something when it's testing, but it will actually show you the kind of content that you can expect from this. I'm going to show you some really interesting things that you can do with this. You can post to Shopify automatically. You can post to WordPress automatically. It's pretty much got infinite possibilities. Another thing that we can do is after we've posted the blog post, we can post it to Pinterest, we could post it to LinkedIn, etc, etc. Okay, so this is the end result here. It does seem to have actually written it in markdown formatting today, which is super nice. Although apparently it's also got a photo of a man in a suit with a perfectly folded pocket square, which I definitely do not have. But that's fine. So that's good. That means it's working. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try something and this might not work. So you can already just post this to WordPress. Okay. So just type WordPress here. I'll show you how to do that first before I show you what I'm kind of experimenting with and what I'm trying to get done exactly. So you just select WordPress as the next action and then create post. And then this will just automatically post to your WordPress. So press continue here. Uh, connect your WordPress, obviously, which takes a little bit of time. It's not in the scope of this video. Post type um, required. I don't even know what the options are. Let's just say post. Okay, so for the title, we're going to take this from conversation chat GPT, the first conversation, and it's going to be master. It's, it's going to be the assistant response message too, basically. The content itself is going to be the third conversation or the third action, and it's going to be right here. Uh, this is written in Markdown, as you can see, but we will actually have to change that. Author123, I actually don't know what that is, so I'm just going to... Oh, I just need to select the author, yeah. Uh, ping status, no, no. Categories, you can add all the categories, you can add all the tags, etc. Um, I'm not going to bother with this right now. These are pretty obvious steps anyway. So once you've done this, you can test the action again, but I'm, I'm actually not going to because I know it's going to work. And between three and four, I'm going to click here and we're going to try and make it so that it actually formats it correctly. Because if I post it now, it will not work. I don't know what my, what my keyboard's doing. So formatter by Zapier, let's open that up. And what this does is it allows us to do markdown to HTML. So we're going to work with text like this. So select text. My internet's a little bit slow today. Transform. We want to transform from Markdown to HTML. This, this would be ideal if this works. And the input will be the third conversation with ChatGPT, or the second uh, conversation with ChatGPT. And then it will be the actual content. And then we're going to press continue. And we're going to test the action. This should turn it into raw HTML, which would be a lot easier for us. It would be one less step in the kind of process. As you can see now, we have H2 headers, H3 headers, etc., etc. So this might actually work. So now that we've done that, 
Um, we could also here, we can add more steps. For example, like I said before, we could post to LinkedIn, we could post to Facebook, we could post to Pinterest. We could post to all these different things, which I actually don't do myself. So LinkedIn is here. I don't do this uh, and I really should. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna start doing this because we have a Pinterest for the website that I work for. We have all of these things. You can also, if you're on Shopify, you don't have to post to WordPress. You can do Shopify. So let's say I have a Shopify store as well. Uh, obviously I don't, oh, I do actually, but yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Create blog entry. It's the same process, okay? Um, I'm not gonna run through it. But basically, you just do exactly the same thing as with WordPress. So this is now ready. So I'm going to test this because they won't let you post until you've tested all of them. And then this will send a test article to Jucas. Jucas is the experiment that I'm currently working on. It's built on an expired domain. It's all AI content. It's the same kind of stuff that I've been doing in my last few videos. So this should be saved now. It looks like it is. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> so this should be saved now. It looks like it is. And you can see that we have some a little bit of weird formatting. It's to be expected. It's not quite there yet. Um, I wish it was. But yeah, it, it's really not quite. It's not quite there yet. But I just really, really like it. And this does save a lot of time and it makes everything a bit more organized. And you can do many, many other steps, including posting it to various different social medias. So we'll call this test GPT. Your saves, your changes were auto saved, perfect. So now we'll go off here. This is now our zap. So we're gonna turn off GPT automation. We just have test GPT, and we're gonna write another email to that email address. I will be turning this off afterwards, so please don't spam my email because yeah, I'm gonna turn it off anyway. Black tie event attire for men is the focus keyword. We're gonna hit send and we're gonna wait for this to do its magic. I have no idea what the formatting is gonna look like, but I have a feeling that it's gonna be perfect. So we'll be back in, actually wait, I may as well show you this. If it's not working, you have to potentially run the zap. So you click on these three little buttons and you press run. You can see on the side, the actions have gone up or the tasks have gone up. Using this method, you um, paying $20 a month, you could probably get 50 to 100 articles for that price, which is pretty good. You can probably get more than that, to be fair. Let's see if it's here already. And if not, I'll pause the video until it is. We will be back very shortly. Okay, so the content is here. It looks like it hasn't uh, changed it to HTML, which I wasn't expecting it to, to be fair. There's something that doesn't quite work inside Zapier yet with ChatGPT. But what you can do is you can take this and you can just go to Markdown to HTML, which is something that I had to do anyway with my previous methods. And once, you've, once this loads, this Markdown to HTML, um, creator, you can just copy and paste the content inside. God, this computer is slow. Not the computer, the internet. Oh my God, I need better internet. Okay, so as you can see, this is now in perfect markdown. You can then just copy this back over. Overall, I would say this saves a lot of time. Yes, you don't have the internal links, but this is kind of assuming that at the end of this process, after you've got 500 articles or whatever, then that is when you will just use something like Link Whisperer or whatever to pay. You'd have to pay for it, but it would save you a lot of time overall. This is probably faster than the other methods that I've shown you. Is it necessarily better at making content? I don't know, probably not. But I think that just, I, I just wanted to show people that this was possible because I think this is super, super interesting and super, super cool. Yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy using Zapier. I'm definitely gonna be exploring more of what I can do with it. As you can see, I've been exploring already. I'm looking at automating some outreach and automatically posting to various social medias after I've posted. I honestly, I didn't know, I didn't know that Zapier was so good. I didn't really know what it did. I've never been an expert, but I am now learning. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon with some more content.
Peace out.